This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. In this episode, we're going to have an interesting look when we create a Rails application and have created this special helper called Generate. So then I'll give it my application name and it'll go through and set up the Rails application as we would normally expect. However, it's going to add in a lot of different extra files and this is just using a Rails template. However, this template is a little bit unique because we're not focusing on our development experience, but rather we're focusing on the deployment. So once a project has been created, I'm going to navigate into that project and then I'll run the command bin deploy. And then it'll start building the Docker image. And once it's finished building, it's then going to push it up to Docker Hub. And the general premise of this template that we'll be creating is that it's going to give us a development environment in Docker. So if we want to run bin dev, it's going to start up everything that we need for our development environment. And then we can start coding right away. And the other part of the template that we'll be creating is a production deployment. And for this deployment, I am using Docker Swarm and I have Portainer installed on the Docker Swarm as well as Traffic, which we'll look at setting up this entire infrastructure in another episode. And really the purpose of this template that we're going to be creating is for kind of hobby projects. A lot of times we have different projects, that we are creating and we're creating these often, but setting up an entire deployment infrastructure for these can be a rather pain. So all we have to do for this example application is to deploy the YAML file that was generated for us. So we'll deploy this and we can navigate in to make sure that everything is up and running and navigating to our fully qualified domain name, we now have our application up and running. And so for this template, with this hobby-esque kind of environment, we're going to be able to create our application and deploy it within minutes. And in another episode, we'll actually have a look at setting up the Portainer servers, the Docker Swarm, as well as traffic and getting all of that up and running as we would expect. And be sure to check out episode 163 on an introduction to templating in Ruby on Rails applications. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.